All right, here's my phone, Moto X Gen 2 with the, I believe this is the Teak, the Teak, Teak wood back. Now, I've you've seen it in videos and it doesn't have a case because I build one out of the foam here, the speaker surround foam. And I, when I first got the phone in November of 2014, yeah, I was like, I don't want to get a case because I, it's a beautiful shape. I love the, the angle and the it's thin on the edges and you can really hold it like that. And I like that. And I, you know, all this, the glass, everyone always freaks out and has to get a screen protector. And I decided that, okay, I'm going to be the exact opposite of all those people and I'm just going to not protect my screen and then just be super careful with my phone for the rest of my life. Because once you have a screen protector, I've seen people who have those giant fucking like otter cases and they just don't give a shit they're just throwing their phones around oh, my phone's got an otter case and then they their phones break anyway because you don't care when you don't have anything protecting your glass and you're putting it in your pocket and you can't put your keys in that pocket you think about it you take a lot better care of things now this screen is filthy we'll get to that but i just peeled off my old uh applied case and i used some goo gone which this stuff is toxic. It smells great. Don't let your kids drink it. Or if you don't like your kids, let your kids drink it. You got that and uh, rubbing alcohol. Everyone should have rubbing alcohol to clean things. It's just, it, it needs to be in every household. Because it evaporates really fast and it doesn't damage electronics because it doesn't conduct. Well, actually, I don't know, honestly, if it just doesn't conduct anything. I'm really trying to get that residue off there before I proceed. Because the foam I put around the outside just gets damaged from putting my pocket wear and sticking in things. But the foam in the back here, it's never come off since November of 2014. It's currently October of 2016. So that's how good the adhesive is in this. And the adhesive in this isn't like, oh my god, it's going to tear off the foam. You peel it right off whenever you feel like it. It's why it goes on everything. Where's my little uh, my other player inside has it? This is the best stuff. This I should do a Z review of just this foam. It's amazing. All right, we're going to assume this is now as clean as it's going to get. Make sure that's alcohol and not the Goo Gone again, because the Goo Gone will prevent anything from sticking. So you got to make sure you get enough all of it off. By the way, these uh, microfiber towels I bought like Costco ones, and I've had some old ones, and these are ones I got on Amazon, and they are fucking. They're like the best. My friend who detailed my car was like, oh wow, these are like really good. He usually has to like hunt them down in different stores. Now, what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna probably do a half inch, since it's, all right, it's got that fucking angle, right? That, that rock, so it's like, and I don't want that. And when I put it down on a table, I don't want the wood directly contacting the table and getting scratched up. So just get a case, the other one that hides the wood, and you get a clear case, fuck it. So we're going to take half inch, and I'm just going to cut some general lengths. We'll strip down to accurate lengths later. Get some good scissors, by the way. I have, like, giant monster scissors. Do not use those for this gerb. Put pants on for you people. You should be very happy. Now, you don't have to have two different widths. I just use this shit on everything. Actually, here, here's what the half inch stuff does. Because that's just cutting board, and it would look like ass if it was just white cutting board. But as soon as you wrap it in this stuff, it's just, now it's part of a thing. And it never comes off. I did the same thing with my projector shelf. It's just half inch plywood, but you wrap it in black. Perfect. Oh, and here's the little player. This has had this foam in it for ever ever and you could just because it's got foam on it now back to my phone the phone foam the phone 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 what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna apply it all the way what I'm gonna do is see, see how narrow the edges are and I'm gonna probably have to trim the 3 8 regardless but I want to thicken this up so I have something else to attach to so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually make this foam line up perfectly with the side there now you could apply it and then try to trim by peeling it off and then edging it 
but I'm just going to give it the business now. And keep in mind, you could also tilt the, the blade so you get like a, an angle there, which does help sometimes. Let's see, how does that look? Take more of the edge. Think I can do this in under 17 minutes? Because if I can, I don't have to edit this video together from two sections. Which is like my favorite thing in the world. I'm just going to damage the paper right there so I could see exactly where I have to trim. I guess this is like craftsman type shit. Okay, okay, there's that. I could definitely bring that in. I'm not assuming any of you are gonna actually do this. Because I'm a crazy bastard. See, I screwed that up a little bit. I took too much off. Let's cut it back another sixteenth. Now once I get it off the, the paper, I can manipulate it a bit. As long as you don't stretch this shit and put it down, she'll stick forever. As long as you just put it down relaxed and not in any sort of tension or anything, she's perfect. I wish I could be playing the Foo Fighters right now, but I can't be. Right, this has got to get trimmed. I'm just going to go straight. I'm not going to do any weird angularities. That weird angle is just killing me. There we go. I could feel, I'm just feeling it now where it ends up. That's perfect. Now, I could just make this the template and then trim this other one, but in reverse, so it ought to be like that. So let's do that. So it cuts our time in half. There, 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 there. Just pick a side and do, pick a side with the least amount of waste. There you go, in case you screw up bad. That's pretty much it. Scroll down. We're scrolling down now. Scroll down to the other end. Okay. I could become an arts and crafts teacher at school. Don't ever ask me to cut your hair, by the way. It'll just be nightmarish. So that's that side. That's button side, and this is non-button side. And what this will do is actually we're going to cover the buttons, the power and volume buttons, and from using them, they'll actually you'll get an indent in the foam. So you'll be fine with that. Now we're trying to line it up vertical, looking at the side. So I should really get one end down first. Come on. Okay. There's our end. Now we're just, I'm just feeling it out like that and applying it. A little more that way, a little more this way. Okay, so now I've got that shit stuck to my screen. A nice fat bead to put the side piece on. Apply it as you will. Next. Rotate it and do the exact same. Start on an end. Actually, a little bit, a little bit further down. You'd rather have it sticking over. Genovia, Genovka. Perfect. So now I've got my back foam, and that means my phone just goes. It'll still rock this way, but that's rocking on the foam, so that's not actually touching. The wood is now raised. Oh, and by the way, that's sort of that's the sort of angularity you could expect with this case. It's better than rubber 
for just like sticking to shit. And that'll eventually break down over a couple months, but when it's fresh, mm, you have to throw this thing against the wall and it'll just stay there. Look, it doesn't fall out of my hand. And if I do drop it, if it usually drops on a corner and the corners are covered in foam, we're about to do that right now. Hello, Denon headphones. Let me move you there. All right, next. That is so nice. That is already so nice. Just, just that. It's just, just I could, because it's just foam, sticky foam. All right, three eighths. Now, the last time I've done this, I've had to. I do two pieces because I obviously need the headphone jack access and I need the uh, USB access, so I can't do a full wrap. I possibly could go over the top and then somehow manage. Should I try to do a hole over here? I've never tried that before. Like to actually just have a hole pierced through for that. I usually just start a piece here and end it and start a piece here and end it. All right, we'll try that, we'll do that. Now I'm gonna cut this again, roughly half, longer than you need. Uh, copy that. I love how it's just the perfect temperature to have the windows open and you could hear people vacuuming and stuff but it's not hot. Okay, now, probably gonna use this. If you want a flat surface, because we're gonna actually drop this against the table as we apply it. And actually, it's almost not too thick. Like right there, it's not too thick, but on the top, when the, where it actually slopes down, this is just too thick and it'll stick up and be bad. So we are going to have to trim it. I wonder if I could do a full thickness there and then just trim down a little bit. And then I could use full thickness at the top again. So full thick, then here, it, I'll mark it with my fingernail, I'll just damage the paper down, and then full thickness can go there. So between here and here, these two crush marks in the paper, I have to dip that. I've never done it this this precisely before, but what the hell? We are we are new grounds here. Okay. So now I've got it's actually not bad. Just straighten it out a little bit here. I'm probably gonna end up just trimming the entire length like I always do. Just a, just a wee bit. Just a wee bit. So full thick for the top then right where it cuts down it's shorter and it goes back up to the full height here. Slightly below full height now that I've done that. And now I've got to bring it back down. Can I keep it full height there? No, see I can't. Because it's, it's actually thicker at the top, but it'll wrap around better. So, uh, just cut it down from here. Just cut it straight down. Down and down and down and down and down. Down and down and down and down and down and down. And then we're going to sort of level off with like a sixteenth of an inch taken off. See how the bottom responds to that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um... Do I match it with the other side, like I did before? Yeah, why not? Okay. This is really not. Okay, start it. Nice and straight. Now this is the button side. So that doesn't change much. Start there, comes down. Still a little thick along here. Yeah. What makes Zeos happy? Cutting foam. Good, 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 good. 
down thick there, and then right around here, it's just got to start tapering down. I really wish I could cut this with my other hand, but I cannot. Start tapering. And now we're taking off like a sixteenth of an inch all the way to the end. Like that. Check the bottom. A little more. A little more to match. Ah! Cut this way now. Yes. All right. So let's do this side first, the button side first. On a flat surface. Button side first. Now I started it like right at the hole for the headphone. So boom. Around. Keeping it dragging along the yoga block. Not stretching it, just applying it. And then under, and then I'm going to have to trim it so that we don't hit the USB. With a little bit of an angle, just because, boom. So that's there. I don't keep playing with it. Do the next one. actually get it to level there 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 around to the bottom how much do I got to cut about the same very consistent in my failings here and the angled snip a little more than that this will ruin a good pair of scissors by the way or at least screw them up for a bit so make sure you goog on them clean so that now allows me to charge it we're checking now you could just push down i want you to do this you're adhering so now what's going to happen is over time this is going to pull back at least if you're me like i grab my phone and squeeze it and it's going to pull away but right now we've got basically foam armor around the entire thing it goes up and down here a little bit Yeah, yeah. If you're up a little bit too high here, don't worry. That'll just pull back in about a week. Just, 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 just grab it and squeeze, and you'll see what's going to move. Now, I've had this phone obviously since 2014, so I know where the power button is. I'm just going to hold the power button down, and I know where the volume buttons are roughly. And by the time I hit, it's usually volume down is what I'm hitting constantly over and over and over again. So there'll just be an indent forming. You can, I tried this last time, I took some crazy glue and I put a, a drop of it there and a drop of it there and let it harden. And then I had like a hard button to know where I was going. But uh, that wears off way too fast. This just, by the way, in the hand, just feels so good in the hand. Foam on foam. Gotta do foam on something else. Well, whatever. Oh, now I gotta clean the screen. Use actual uh, screen cleaning fluid for cameras or something like that. Clean paper towel. You can spray directly or just spritz the, the thing. And I probably should have cleaned this before I turn the phone on. Do not use anything that removes adhesives on phone now or you're going to remove the adhesives now take your f microfiber again and just just give it a nice you're basically just drying off the screen now oh god I should put my brightness all the way up uh huh uh huh Clean the, uh, God, yes. 
a couple little goo goo marks here. Oh, that's cool. I'll get these off later. You know how to clean your screen. But now I have what basically feels like a new phone. Let's see what the Xerius Telegram is talking about. Oh, God. Mm. So much better than a case. Uh, still wood. I can still feel it. The camera doesn't get blocked. And this will last... Well, it depends on usage. If you're if you're careful with it or if you're abusive, it'll be anywhere from six months to a year. All right, let me three months to eight months. At eight months, it's sort of like you've 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 worn this foam out, but the back foam should be good forever for just everything. Oh yeah, just 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 hovering above. Chewbacca just went poop poop. Maybe it's time to start the review. All right, I will continue to clean the screen because it is still nasty, but everything else is perfect. Thank you.